Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgeting. In today's video, we will be doing a plan with me. If that is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, in this video, we will be planning out our paycheck week for April the 22nd, 2022. We will be using our paycheck tracker. Let me grab my ink pen. So we are in the month of April. Four, twenty-two, twenty-two. From our work income, we're going to take that will be four hundred. From our Etsy store, we are going to do 500, a total of $900. For our rent, we will be adding $5. I'm going to actually put the due dates here as well. I'm just going to add those in a different color. Now, let me explain this. My rent isn't $5, but I did mention in a previous video that I wanted to start stuffing each one of my envelopes to try to get a month ahead. I will be adding $5 to each envelope that I pay my bills in full in order to work my way to that month ahead. Now every month won't be $5 a month, but that is to just get me in the groove of stuffing those actual envelopes because I've never stuffed those envelopes on camera. so. We are going to work towards it, so don't think my rent is $5, so, I mean, that would be nice if it could be $5, but it's not $5, so this is just practice to actually start getting a feel of it, because if I see it, I will start doing it more. All right, we're going to do a car note, and... We are going to stuff five in there as well. We are going to do car insurance. Car insurance is going to get five. We are going to do credit card two. Credit card two always gets eighteen dollars. Credit card three is twenty one. Phone bill we're going to add five. Utilities. Mm, let's do ten. For my tags, we are going to do one hundred. Entertainment. That gets twenty. 
Oh, let's go ahead and get my student loans. Mm -hmm. 63. I'm just going to go back and write my due dates. When is the last Sunday of the month for May? Let me see. Last Sunday of May would be the 29th. Let's do for entertainment. We start paying on the seventh, and that's like with our phone bill too. I actually have two separate dates for phone bills, so we have several different dates for entertainment, which entertainment is for our subscriptions. I will put the seventh because I think that is when my first due date is on the seventh. My student loans are normally due on the sixteenth. And I will add lawn care here. Because it is getting close to that time, which I mean, working all the time, I'm not going to actually ask him to um, keep the yard up as much as he used to because, you know, working in school now, once he get out of school, summertime, okay. He can pick that back up, but for right now, the first two or three weeks, no, the first two to four weeks, I will actually let somebody come in and manicure the yard, and which is something that I always try to do at the beginning of the season is to get it manicured first. That way, he don't have to try to do as much work. We don't have a due date here, and we are not going to stuff this payment. And you guys know I have not purchased a calculator yet. So we are going to go with the good iPhone here. I'm going to add all this up. Which equals 252. We're going to go back with our start amount of 900 minus 252 equals 648 then we're going to move down to our variable expenses we're going to start with groceries gas Eating out. Let's budget that and eating out. Spending. Household. And medication. For groceries, we're doing 115. For gas, we are going to do 70. Eating out is 40. Spending is 10. Household is 10. And medication, we will add 10 in there as well. comes out to 255 and then we're going to go back here take out 648 minus 255 give us a total of 393 left over sinking funds
St. Jude. And then I want to add Beauty here. Which I know on my new one that I updated, I have more lines on here. But I'm going to add beauty here and just do two separate amounts on that line. Yeah, we'll work that out. So for my dead snowball, I am going to do 100. Emergency funds get 50. Family time gets 10. Clothing will get 10. Self-care will get 10. And beauty will get 40. Car maintenance get 10. Vacation will get 15. And taxes, we will get 20. We are dropping that amount because we already paid our taxes for the year. Um, we paid that last week on the 15th. So we will drop this amount for this month. And then next month, we will presume to pay me a different amount. For my savings, I will put 10. For Christmas, we have 5. And for St. Jude, we are going to put 15 back. And let's get this added up. 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 40 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 15 that gives us a total of 295 and we take in 393 minus 295 gives us a total of 98 dollars okay down to extra savings have files up. Kanaya. Date night. Oh, yes. Birthday. Savings challenge. And let's put Carson here. Carson is a new envelope. Carson is my bonus grandbaby. And I decided to start an envelope for him. He is only 11 months at the time. But I just wanted to get something going for him so we will start this envelope this month as well so we know boss up will get 20 for now Kanai will get her normally 25 and Carson will get 5 date night will get 10 OES will get 7 birthday will get Five and savings challenge will get 26. Now, let me add this up to make sure we are on the right track. 20 plus 25 plus 5 plus 10 plus 7 plus 5 plus 26. Okay, 98. Okay, so we'll take our 98 here, minus 98. That leaves us with a zero. 
zero balance. On my savings challenge, I decided to not quit. I am going to stop for maybe a few weeks because I had a goal of paying credit card two off for the month of April. I have not reached that goal because I know I was doing different savings challenges I added in for the month of April. So I will pause on my savings challenge, my 100, my 100 envelope savings challenge. I know for sure. I think I am going to continue to at least get caught up on my 52 weeks challenge, the remix. I want to at least get that caught up to the correct week. I know in my 100 savings challenge, I am well over my weeks as far as being caught up. So I will actually pause that until I get these two credit cards paid off. At least I want to get this first one paid off, credit card too, because I don't want to miss my goal date. I owe a couple of hundred dollars on it so far so we will be adding more in our debt snowball to get this credit card to pay off by the end of this month that is still my goal so whatever i have to pull or stop stuffing in order to get that paid off that is what i'm going to do so so savings challenge we are not quitting them we are just putting them on pause for a few weeks so this is what we will be budgeting for this paycheck of 422. In our next video, we will be actually doing the cash stuffing. So I will see you guys there. Be blessed.